So if you're not using curves in your post processing, you're seriously missing out. So in this tutorial, I am going to help you understand about curves. I think that's really important and teach you how to use them because once you've got that understanding, they're actually really easy to use and they can make an image sing, I can tell you. Now you can use curves in Photoshop, in Lightroom and you know many other post-processing programs. We're going to use Photoshop. I'm going to show you how to use it on a landscape and a portrait image. And, you know, like I said, it's going to totally transform these images really quickly and really easily. But it's that understanding, isn't it, that uh, helps you do that. So let's go into Photoshop and have a look at curves. Right, so we're going to transform this image here and we're going to transform this image here. OK, let's go back to this image for a minute. Now in Photoshop, when you're using curves, it's best to use curves adjustment layers because they are non-destructive, okay? And you get your curves adjustment layer down here in the uh, adjustment layer icon. We click on that and we go up to curves. And then your curves property box appears up here. Now curves, the main use for curves is actually to give your image more contrast, right? But there is a lot more that you can actually do with curves if you understand a little bit about color. And that's what's important in this tutorial and when it comes to using curves. If you're a photographer, you've got to know about color, right? You've got to know about the color wheel, you've got to know about how colors harmonize together, etc. because that is what's going to make your pictures look good. Um, and curves is a really good way of doing that. So firstly, I'm just going to show you the contrast, the standard curves that people do, which is called an S curve. And you push up in the top of the curve here, you pull down in the bottom of the curve there. It creates a kind of S shape like that and it puts contrast across your whole image. OK, let's just hide that effect and bring it back, hide it and bring it back. And there you go contrast across your image. And it does that because in this top corner of your curves properties box, or in the curves graph here, this is your highlights, okay? And if I click this dot again and I push it up, I'm basically brightening the highlights. If I pull it down, I'm darkening the highlights, okay? And that is because this point here is blocking the rest of the curve. Now, if I just click on that point and press the backspace, so it now no longer blocks the rest of the curve. Now, if I pull down, it's making the whole picture dark and it's making the whole picture light, okay? So the first thing that you need to understand is this top square, the top right square, is your highlights. The bottom left square is your shadows, okay? So if you push up here, in your highlights, it brightens the highlights. If I pull down here in the shadows, it darkens the shadows because pushing up brightens, pulling down darkens. So we've controlled our shadows here and our highlights. OK, so that's the first thing. A nice S curve there. It's very common in photography. Let's hide that and reveal it, hide it and reveal it. So already we've got a bit of punch to this image. So that's the easy part when it comes to curves, all right? It gives contrast with an S-shaped curve, just like I showed you there. But we can break curves down into color channels. And by doing that, we can color grade the image. And we can color grade it really, really well if you have a little bit of knowledge about color, which you're gonna have by the end of this tutorial, all right? Let's go and have a look at that. So this image is a picture that I took down in the uh, New Forest in England, and it was a lovely warm sunset, okay? It was a lovely warm sunset. It doesn't look that warm as I'm looking at it now, and that's common with raw files, you know, they're raw files, they need to be processed. And there's lots of different ways that you can process them, but obviously in this tutorial, we're looking at curves. And what I wanna do with the curve is warm up the light basically warm up the highlights and all of the light that's flickering over this heather here in, in the foreground so i'm going to hide this curves properties box at the top here 
and I'm actually just so that we can be nice and neat and so that you can see the difference between the two is I'm going to name this curves adjustment layer. I'm going to double click on it and I'm just going to call this one S curve and I'm going to press enter. Okay. I can now hide that effect and bring it back, hide it and bring it back. And you can see, like I said, nice bit of contrast. Now I'm going to add another curves adjustment layer and we're going to play with the colors within this image. So I'm going to click the curves adjustment icon down the bottom. I'm going to select curves again. And this time I'm going to warm up that light, like I said to you a minute ago. So over in the curves properties box, I can click on this drop down and I can choose color channels, red, green, or blue, okay? And what that means is I can control with the curves properties box here, the blue channel, okay? The blues across the screen, but also the yellows across the screen. And this is where the knowledge of color comes in, all right? Now, if I push up on this curve, it adds blue into the image. As you can see, it adds blue across the whole image. Now, if I pull down on that curve, it adds yellow to the image. And that is because yellow is opposite blue on the color wheel, okay? We're using a CYMK color wheel and when you're using curves, a little tip here is to print one out, stick it on your wall, put it in front of you or whatever until you learn about color and it's just gonna really help you out here. So to get rid of this curves point, because sometimes you're gonna be clicking and it's gonna be going like that and you're not gonna like it, it's all gonna go all weird. All you do is you select the point and you press the backspace and it's as simple as that, like that, and like that, and it goes back to normal. Or there is a reset button down the bottom here that you can click if you've got loads of points and you just wanna reset the whole thing. So I wanna warm up this light. I wanna warm up the sunset and the light flickering all over this heather, like I said. So for that, you want orange really, don't you, right? Orange is like the warm sunset look. Orange is made up of yellow and red mixed together, okay? So I just told you a minute ago that we've got yellow. If we pull down on this blue channel curve, we get yellow. I told you earlier on as well that this top right-hand corner of the curves graph here is your highlights. So if I pull down here in the highlights, I'm gonna add yellow into the highlights, okay? And now what I need to do is take that yellow away from the shadows. The shadows is down here, which is your bottom left box. So I add another point, I push up in that box and it takes the yellows away from the shadows. And then it's just literally a matter of you just playing around and getting it to how you want it to be. Now I think for the sake of this video, I will overdo it a little bit so you can see it more on your screen, okay? So uh, there you go, that's a nice yellow and as you can see, the yellow is in the highlights mainly. And because it's a curve, it's softly blending it into the shadows or blending it out of the shadows. So it's not like other panels that you can use, let's say in Lightroom, where you can grab the yellow slider and just pump the yellow up. This is different. This is a much more softer graduation of color toning between here, yellows and blues. So that's the yellows. Now let's add some reds into the highlights as well to make it orange. So I'm gonna click on the drop down arrow here. I'm gonna to go to red. And as we know, this is the highlight. So I wanna add reds into the highlight. So I'm gonna push it up here. It's a bit too much there in the shadow, so I'm gonna pull it down a little bit like that. And again, like I said, I'm just overdoing it a little bit for you guys for the video, but I think that looks all right. I'm gonna click the eye symbol here to hide that effect and bring it back. And that's warming up. I want you to just look at the light as it's flickering over the heather here, and it's warming up all of that light, okay? Now, I think there's a bit too much green in there. So I'm gonna come up to the color channels again. I'm gonna select green. And for green, if I pull down, it takes away green and adds magenta. And that's because green and magenta are opposite on that CYMK color wheel. And if I push up, obviously it adds green. Now I just literally, I'm gonna pull it out slightly. And I mean very slightly, just like that, I think. Let's hide that effect and bring it back. And there we go, okay. 
I'm just gonna go back to the yellow, so go back to the blue channel and just see if I can adjust that a little bit more. No, I think it was all right where it was actually, something like that. Let's hide that effect and bring it back, hide it and bring it back. And there you go, with two very easy steps here, let's go and hide them all. I'm gonna hold down the Alt key or Option if you're on a Mac. I'm gonna click the eye symbol on the bottom layer there. So that's the original picture. Then we added an S curve for a bit of contrast and then we added a color curve here for the warmth of the light. And while I'm on the subject, double click on that, type in color curve, press enter. So that's how quick and easy it is to color grade images and give them a bit more boost just using curves, right? Let's just recap quickly on what we've done. So in your curves box, you've got your RGB channel, which is everything, your or everything across your image. And then you can break it down into reds, red channel, which is the color red. If you push your curve up, the color cyan, if you pull your curve down. And what you've got to remember with curves is you're not just adding red, you're removing the opposite color at the same time. So you're adding red, removing cyan, if you're pushing up, and then as you're pulling down on the red curve, you're adding cyan and removing red from your image. And that's the color channels, okay? So red, like I said, you've got red and cyan. The green channel, you've got green. If you push up green, pull down, you've got magenta. And then on the blue channel, if you push up, you've got blue. If you pull down, you've got yellow. So you've got control of all of them colors, all right? Now, incidentally, all of them colors is literally every color on the color wheel when you mix them all together. And then you've got control of the highlights and the shadows within all of them colors. And that is where curves are really, really cool. So, you know, we're in the blue channel here. If I do anything in this top corner, I'm in the highlights. If I do anything in this bottom left corner, I am controlling the shadows, okay? So you're controlling highlights and shadows and every color on your color wheel. And you're doing it really, really quickly. And like I say, print out that color wheel, put it next to you, and I can tell you it's really, really gonna help you out. So let's hide this properties box here. And obviously we've just worked on a landscape image, but it's really, really cool for color grading portraiture. So we're gonna now go into this image and I'm gonna show you how to do that. But before I do, let me take this opportunity to tell you about the courses that we run over at theschoolofphotography.com. If you wanna learn Photoshop properly, we have got a full in-depth course over at the School of Photography. It's five star rated. It's taken by tens of thousands of people all over the world. And I promise you, it will make you fluent in Photoshop and improve your photography tenfold. We've also got courses in Lightroom. We've got courses in photography, wildlife photography, macro, landscape, and just loads and loads of other things. So if you wanna learn photography properly, that's the key term here. If you wanna learn photography properly, you come over and see us at the schoolofphotography.com and I promise you, we will take your photography to the next level, like what we've done to tens of thousands of people all over the world already. Right, let's go back into this image, into Photoshop and grade it using curves. So here we have a standard image of the lovely Rosie and she is on the front cover of our book. So if you haven't got our photography book, make sure you check that out. And it just looks a little bit boring when it comes to the light, okay? I don't mean like the image, the image is quite nice, it's composed really well, but it's lacking something. It's lacking a feeling, it's lacking a color grade, right? And let me show you how easy it is to color grade this and change the look of it just by using a curves adjustment layer. So we're gonna come down to our layers panel here. We're gonna click on the adjustment layer icon. We're gonna add a curves adjustment layer just like that. Now this is in one of them underpasses, you know, that go under the road. And these strip lights in here, they're all burnt out and there's nothing you can really do about that because they're just really bright, you know, in this tunnel. But what we can do is color grade it, okay? 
we can make this look like an underpass because at the moment it just looks very white and very bright and we want to make it you know like a bit more uh, murky I suppose these strip lights they they're normally green in color and it's normally a lot more murkier and dirty I suppose is the word is that the word or whatever but you know what I mean in these underpasses all right let's see what we can do I'm going to come over to the color channels here in the curves property box I'm going to select blue and the reason I'm selecting blue is because like I said to you a minute it, it, it's very white it's very cold and blue is a cold color so if I bring down the blue I'm removing it okay so I'm seeing this image not as not so much as adding a color but as taking one away and obviously in the process you add a color but you get the point I'm trying to say it's very cool very cold so let's remove the blue so I'm going to remove the blue like that and that looks really good and then I'm only going to remove it from the highlight so I'm going to push it up there like that and now what we've got actually is a really nice look now I can control that I can well I don't want to do that obviously <laughs> but um, I can pull it down to something about there that looks pretty good I think all right so it's left the face alone slightly it's put a slight bit of yellow in it but it's mainly gone on the highlights in the background here let's hide that effect and bring it back I mean look at that already we have changed the look and the feeling of this image I might just have a look in the um, in the green channel maybe let's have a look in the green channel pull the greens out slightly how about that that's not bad at all and and there we go with one foul swoop we have color graded this image I'm just going to go back into blue just to see if I can give it a little bit more oomph and I think that's about right to be honest with you I think that is it so let's hide this layer this curves adjustment layer that's the original that's the color grading original color grading and as you can see one easy movement has given that image a much stronger feeling okay it don't look cold it don't look as boring as it did before it's got a bit of punch it's got a bit of oomph with one one color curve and the knowledge of color so I've written a blog on using curves in Photoshop Lightroom etc with examples and you know a little bit more in depth than there and that there'll be a link in the description of this video if you want to click and go and read all of that please do if you've liked this video you need to help us out please you know if we've helped you please help us back it's just the way it works and you help us by subscribing liking the video giving us a comment sharing it with your friends you know in short by engaging with this video if you engage with this video it helps us bring more videos to you so I would really really appreciate it if you did that and remember if you want to learn photography Photoshop Lightroom everything photography related properly come over and see us at the school of I'll see you in the next video. Shh.